Uh, all right. First of all, I'm going to say all praises be to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem Raka Kodash. And I'm going to say double honor to the apostles and elders, great Moulston. Shalom to the sincere elect teaching the truth in faith and sincerity. The quick topic I want to speak on is uh, based upon the burst dams which caused the uh, flooding in uh, Libya, which even the story around that is fishy. But either way, it's judgment, man. You know, and it's like, um, you know, this just makes me th- th- think about the, the 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 return of our Lord, man. Because you know, all of these judgments that's taking place, I see it as 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 you know, which which according to the scriptures, is signs and prophecies of 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 the Lord's return because the actual day in which the Lord comes back right mass death mass judgments mass everything going to going, going, going take place it's it's, 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 it's sort of like symptoms of, of what's going to take place or when or when the Lord come back right whole whole countries Going, going, shake. Lands gonna be underwater. Greater, greater earthquakes that's that's never happened on a scale that people have seen will take place. You know, f- f- volcanoes gonna erupt. Uh, Massa animals death. You know, it's it's just it's just gonna be, it's just gonna be on another level, man. You know, that in fact, the scripture says, uh, like in, in Habakkuk 3 and 8, it says, Was the Lord displeased against the rivers? Was thine anger against the rivers? Was thy wrath against the sea that thou didst ride upon thy horses and chariots of salvation so when the lord comes back bro everything gonna change like uh, everything gonna shake you know oh. islands you know that you know s- seemed you know like nice and as a paradise some of them might go on the water man you know certain spots that have loads of waters and lakes you never know uh, evaporate <laughs> you know things is is, is going to be like a whirlwind of judgment but guess what the main place that's going to be destroyed is babylon the great which is america and we as a hope for elect lord willing go and get uh salvation in that time you know but it's going to be a heavy time this is a Habakkuk, um, Isaiah 2, 2 and 7, um, 2 and 17. And the loftiness of man shall be bowed down, and the haughtiness of men shall be made low. And the Lord alone, the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. The Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. And it says, and the idols shall, uh, and the idols he shall utterly abolish. And they shall go into the holes of the rocks and in the caves of the earth. For the fear of the Lord, so that's you know, especially all these elites and stuff going into them bunkers. But what does it say? Uh, and going to the caves of the earth for the fear of the Lord and for the glory of His m- 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 Majesty, right? When He arises to shake terribly the earth. Now, let's go. Let's go to the word shake right there. All right, the shake um, says. To tremble, dread, fear, oppress, prevail, break, terrified, cause to tremble, tremble to feel dread. You see, like so, it's it's gonna be a terrible time, man. I like, I think it was the second Independence Day, man. I think it was the second Independence Day. You know, the the one, the one, the one. The, the, that was new when like the 
the, the chariot, the fathership, entered it into the atmosphere. And like just the, the presence of the chariot in the atmosphere made cars lift off from the ground, made buildings, you know, fall down and crumble. You know, those, bro, come on, man. That's like, hey, those those kind of stuff going to be taking place when the Lord comes back. And on top of that, of course, the, the Lord going to come back in the midst of World War Three. You know, so even, and, and that's, and that's, that's, that's also his judgment, man. You know, if we read, if we read in the book of, the world chapter three, the Lord speaks about it. You know, you know why? Why? Why is bringing these, this judgment upon these these nations that have fought against His people? Anyway, the, the inspiration says here, you know, in this article it says Libya flood deaths could reach twenty. 20,000 uh, uh, official now you obviously had the earthquake that just took place in uh, Morocco other earthquakes that have happened throughout, throughout this year for example what we saw happen in um, Turkey and Syria you had uh, uh, floodings that took place as well in Hong Kong. You had other floodings that also took place in Greece. Bro, like, these are all like uh, signs and, and and symptoms of the Lord's, of the Lord's like heavy return, his great return, you see? It says, uh, r- 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 rescuers are burying victims in, in, in three mass uh, graves due to lack of time and space. A local emergency worker r- reported. Now, can you imagine, like, people are, 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 are getting the, the opportunity to, you know, put people... Like in like like in graves now, but, but but when that time of real judgment opens up upon the earth, man, bro, you you, 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 you you're gonna have people die. They ain't even gonna have the chance to get buried, man. That, that, that's how it gonna be, man. And I, hey, uh, 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 like and that's why, man, it's the first job. For these people that enslaved, especially you know all these elites, starting off you know with them, the, the, the uh, first job is gonna be putting people in graves. It says that up in Ezekiel, bro. Like the time of judgment is gonna come so bad that people ain't even gonna get chance to be put into mass graves yet. <laughs> you see? Remember the Lord promised the uh, birds a great feast. But again, that Babylon the Great, of course, America is going to be the main place of judgment. That that's going to be turned into a lake. But you're going to have you 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 are going to have other types of judgment taking place in the earth. It says the the death toll in the eastern. Uh, Libyan port city of 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 of, of Derna, following and 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 like and it's funny, man. Spiritual man. You 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 had um, I think the storm name was uh Daniel, I believe, which is spiritual man. You know, judging the Most High. Most High is my judge. You know, right? The you know the the uh, supreme. Power is bringing this judgment, man. You know what I mean? Spiritual, man. You know, and it's spiritual because 
the, 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 the Lord, you know, and his son, right, you know, starting off with the Heavenly Father is the ultimate judge. You know? Anyway, he says, the death toll in the eastern uh, Libyan port city of, of Derna following a catastrophic flash flooding could reach 20,000. The local mayor told TV outlet Al Arabia on Wednesday. Abdul Manan Al Grady says he he believes between 18,000 and 20,000 people may have died, given the extent of the destruction caused by the floods in a number of districts. The city's prior. The city's population prior to the, the, the disaster was around 125. On Tuesday, authorities from the divided country's eastern government estimated at least 5,300 people had been killed, but approximately 10,000 were still uh, uh, missing. And apparently, well, I mean, it, it isn't apparent. There's, 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 there's people's bodies getting or, or, or washed out like onto sea. You know, people's bodies sh 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 showing up now on the um, seashore, and I believe it was either the the, the uh, um, flooding, and either Hong Kong or Greece. I believe it was the one in Hong Kong. You are in certain places. You you, you had a cr 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 crocodiles around, and. Remember, if if a flooding takes place on this scale, it, it isn't just our uh, people of you know have drowned or whatever. It's people that have drowned, right? And then you have buildings, and then you you you, 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 you gonna have the uh, the diseases. Right, you know the 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 s s certain you know plagues and pestilences that go and come because of the people you know their body being dead, and obviously people gonna also find it hard to get clean. Uh, water, man, you see. So hey. And, 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 and imagine people are experiencing this they ain't see, see, seen anything yet it says the force of the Mediterranean storm uh, 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 Daniel broke two dams in, in the mountains immediately above the city on Sunday creating a deluge that swept the entire neighborhoods into the sea and even if you skip down, it says the sea is constantly dumping dozens of bodies. I'm not exaggerating when I say 25% of the city has disappeared. Many buildings have collapsed. You see? It says um, 3,190 people had already been buried. At least 400 of those killed were f foreigners, of mostly from Sudan and uh, like Egypt. And again, right, this is nothing compared to what's about to come. Right, the Lord is truly showing His judgment, man. <laughs> Matthew, uh, you know what? Before that, I'm gonna get um, Isaiah 42 and 11 and 13. So the, 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 the Lord shall go forth as a mighty man, he shall stir up jealousy like a man of war, he shall cry, yea, roar. He shall prevail against his enemies. I have long time holding my peace. I have been still and refrained myself. 
Now will I cry like a travailing woman. I will destroy and devour at once. I will make moist mountains and hills and dry up their herbs. And I will make rivers, islands, and I will dry up the pools. You know? So, hey, so, so when the Lord comes back, Remember, the scripture says, I, I come to send fire upon the earth. And what who, who, who will I, if, if it like already be kindled, man? Right? Right? Meaning, you know, of course, the Lord is, is, is going to come with his judgment. But before he comes, all types of judgment is going to be already ha happening upon the earth, man. That's why we use the hopeful elect, hope for mercy. Because even Ezra has even said, he even he even said this. Second Ezra sixteen and seventeen. It says, "Woe is me! Woe is me! Who will deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and great mournings. The beginning of famine and great death. The big beginning of wars and a power sustained fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come?" And we as a hopeful, we as a hopeful, let like hope that in those, in wrath, Lord, remember mercy. We as a hopeful, let like pray for mercy. Behold, famine and plague and tribulation and anguish are sent for scourges of for amendment. But all for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be mindful of the scourges. Yeah, because when this, this, this judgment come, right? The um people that are wise and have the truth go go know where else judgment the, the Lord judging you know the earth for the wickedness, but these people like in the world go and still not know and not really understand what's really you know oh man it's just you know what I mean, but guess what it will get more apparent when they see the, the Lord that oh shit nah man all these things that's been happening has been judgment and guess what the our Lord is here well guess what. These fucking part of Edomites gonna still, you know, you know, be be uh. You know, the scripture says they 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 ain't gonna repent of of their murders or whatever, you know. But anyway, it says, "Behold, victors shall be so good cheap on earth that they shall think themselves in, in good case." And in comparison, from now, even though things are expensive now with inflation, they're cheap in comparison to what they they shall eventually be. When you have that that supreme food scarcity and hyperinflation and stuff that that they shall fit themselves to be in good case even then shall evil grow upon the earth sword famine and great confusion for many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine now that's a big statement because to die of, of, of famine is a consistent amount of months plus without food because you can go a week well if you go a week without water that's when you die right but to, to perish of a famine takes months so that means in some way the lord might make you access either water or dirty water with like worms and, and and bacteria in it that makes you sick anyway and gives you diarrhea and shit or just like you're drinking water out of toilet bowls and shit but then the Lord keeps you alive enough to eventually die of famine. Because if you go a week without eating food but I still have water, you, you ain't going to die. Even pe there, there, there's people that have done water fasting cleanses for like 21 days and 30 days and all of that. They have, you know, certain, you know, salts or whatever and, and don't die. So to perish the famine means you're somehow being sustained enough through water or whatever in order to survive enough to slowly die after months of not eating wow for many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish with famine and other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy and the dead shall be cast out as dumb and there shall be no man to to, 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 uh, to comfort them for the earth shall be wasted and the city shall utterly be cast down see that's how bad it gonna be 
But that's why we the hopeful let pray for mercy in that time. Right? So with that, I'm going to say, oh, praises be to how about Shema Shai about Shema Kakudash. Double honest to the positive, I'll just get most of the next time. I'm going to say, hello, one.